all right hello to everyone in this video we are going to be looking at june 2022 uh math paper 2 question number 10 woman so as you can see okay so we are going to be solving the equation it reads a function f defined from arrow to arrow meaning arrow is the domain and arrow is the co-domain as well is given by this cubic equation woman one show that f is monotonic increasing and a command to deduce that the function f of x equal to 0 has a root within this interval. Taking x to be equal to 0 0.5 as first approximate as first approximation to the root of the equation f of x equal to 0, use the newton raphson's method once to obtain to two decimal places a second approximation to the root of this equation is awarded for um, 3 max plus 2 max plus 5 max. Alright, so this um, actually we are going to begin with um, solving of, of woman one. Now woman one is asking us to to show that the function f of x, which is two x cubed plus three x minus two, is monotonic increasing. All right. So we give the condition for a function to be monotonic increasing. So for f to be monotonic, so for f to be monotonic increasing, we have that. The first derivative of of f with respect to x should be greater or equal to zero. Now our f of x is equal to two x cubed plus three x minus two. So I need to look for the first derivative. So the first derivative is just gotten by differentiating my function one time with respect to x plus three x minus two. So generally. If I differentiate the function x to the power n, I drop the power, I take x raised to the power n minus 1. Alright, so this is the same as the derivative of 2x cubed plus the derivative with respect to x of 3x plus the derivative with respect to x of negative 2. Now, standardly, whenever I differentiate a constant with respect to x, I get 0. So A is in the set of real numbers why because um this constant a can be written as a x raised to the power zero so when you differentiate the power is zero so when you drop the power the n becomes zero it multiplies with anything you get zero all right so our first derivative in this case um is going to be so the first derivative is going to be when you differentiate this you have your two outside is a constant where you drop down the three multiplies with it two then you have x raised to the power three minus one which is two Plus, you keep your 3 outside is a constant, you differentiate the x, you just get 1. Then, plus, where you differentiate the constant, you get 0. Alright, so this gives you 6x squared plus 3. Now, the aim is to show that what that um, f prime of x is greater or equal to 0. So, here is how we proceed. This is our f prime of x. Yeah, so, this is um, our f prime of x. So, we need to now justify that this f prime of x is greater or equal to zero either greater than zero or equal to zero or greater or equal to zero okay so clearly for all values of x in the set of real numbers right we have that um, x squared is greater or equal to zero whenever i square a number because the function um is is from r to r plus that's the function f of x equal to x squared the domain is r and the and the co-domain is um that's the range is r plus is always positive that's the domain of the inverse okay so the function itself whenever you square a value a real number whether it is positive or negative the response will always be positive it can be zero as well provided that your x is zero so if i multiply both sides by six it means six x squared will be greater or equal to six times zero is zero um let me display what i'm doing okay now i need to add 3 on both sides so it means 6x squared plus 3 will be greater or equal to 0 plus 3 which means that the left hand side is my f prime of x will be greater or equal to 3 so clearly my f prime of x will be greater or equal to 3 now since 3 is strictly greater than 0 then i can conclude that my f prime of x is what strictly greater than 0 yes it's a transitive property the um the all relationships greater than or equal to uh um specifically partial other relations yes which for a partial other relation they are reflexive 
they are anti-symmetric and they are transitive so if you have a greater or equal to b for example and you have b greater or equal to c then it clearly means that a is greater or equal to c so that's the very thing here we have f prime of x is greater or equal to 3 and 3 is strictly greater than 0 it therefore means that your f prime of x is greater than 0 strictly because it cannot be equal to 0 in this case okay so um we can now conclude hence f is monotonic so f is monotonic increasing as required all right now the next part of the equation what do we want we want to deduce first we we have to deduce that the equation f of x equals zero has a root within this interval yes and then 